I'm Magenta, representing team number 42 who worked on the agroforestry journals for challenge number four. We're an epic interdisciplinary team from multiple different networks and it was a blast to collaborate on this together. Here's our NFT. So we made uh, an NFT project called Agroforestry Journals. And the purpose of this is to create a learn to earn system where apprentices are incentivized to level up while accessing land to produce food, steward seeds, and create content through monthly journals. And this has multiple impacts as well. One is education. It speeds up the learning process for apprentices. It helps people find each other who are working with similar seeds or in similar bioregions, and it builds community. It also helps with monetization. So these are early projects that can't yet do on-chain carbon verification. They're usually small land plots. It's a huge financing gap in the um, fight for climate change, really, and regional economic sovereignty. And so this is a, like a really good innovation that actually addresses that. Um, you have probably tens of thousands of people who want to do this kind of work with their families and in communities, and it's extremely financially challenging to do so in the current system. And this solves that, and um, as well as supporting collective organization. It's also a career opportunity for newcomers in agroforestry. Uh, eventually, we can incorporate credentials, badges, po-ops, etc. So, straight to the journal. Attached in the metadata of the NFT is the journal. And so it is a, a series, probably monthly or quarterly, as an apprentice or mentor goes through their plot of land and, and documents what they're doing. Here's the journal itself in detail. Um, it, you know, you can see the types of data that it collects, the different species they're working with, um, their design goal, how they intercrop trees and annual plants, and you see pictures and uh, descriptions of the different processes they use. This is actually on a uh, Diogo's neighbor's plot of land. It's a cattle ranch. And he saw how productive Diogo's farm was being and he was like, hey, can you come do that on my land? And so this is them starting from scratch and the progress that happened wonderful pictures, different preservation techniques that they use. Here they figured out a, a method for harvesting peanuts that was much, uh, it saved a lot of labor. Um, so that's a great innovation to share and you know help people <laughs> save themselves a lot of time and work, which is amazing. And yeah, super amazing pictures throughout it. Really encourage you to read this, the link to it is the, at the end of the presentation. Um, and it goes through like the different financial inputs, the productivity output, et cetera. And so there's a lot that we can do with that metadata over time. That's part of the interoperability of this project. So people can find each other, learn with each other. So 60% of the NFT sales go to the apprentice or mentor, 30% to the regional DAO and 10% to the global DAO. And this incentivizes community collaboration, you know, growth and visibility of the project and these methods of producing food, et cetera. So why would someone own one? It's a unique artifact and experience. Uh, they, you, by owning one, you support the learning and giving of this education to communities and the training of new agroforesters to grow capacity. So our next steps are to make the first collection. To orient community, there's an existing 20 person telegram group of gardeners, developers, and artists who have been kicking around this idea and are ready to implement it. We need to fundraise uh, do a three, for a three month MVP to test the apprenticeship method. So if that's something you want to support or your protocol wants to support, hit us up. Um, and then finally, we'll grow the global community. We have partnerships with Agroforest, Dow, School of Centropy, and Bloom Network. So we're asked to you if you know any partnerships that you would like to connect with this project, uh, contact Diogo. His details are here. You can join the Telegram group. And also encourage you to read more about Agroforest DAO. Uh, Diego put together an excellent presentation for that. You can learn more and read the journal itself. Uh, thanks for the amazing opportunity to collaborate in this hackathon. Our team had a blast. It was total magic to find each other and collaborate and learn of each other's projects. So uh, thanks, Refi DAO, Planet Positive Hackathon. See you.